Hey, what's up guys? Mashine here, come back with a brand new video of you guys, and I would just want to welcome you guys to probably the easiest floats you are ever going to see in trade-ups. I've pretty much scoured everywhere, and these are some of the easiest trade-ups, but yet still extremely profitable trade-ups you're probably ever going to see. Let's hop on into it. We're going to be starting it off here with a trade-up that has been modified. You might have seen it in the past. We're coming on over to the Fracture Collection, and instead of 10 field-tested skins at a float of 0.2, because point 0.2 is a little bit hard, it's not the easiest, we're going to be going 9 skins at 0.21 and then throwing one minimal wear skin in there. I say this to you because it's still a no-risk trade-up when we come down to our outcomes, but you're really not going to be making any profit unless you hit the Vogue. Whereas if you want to go for 10 field-tested skins, Skins, you're going to be adding on another 35 ish cents no matter what. But basically, a buy order of 50 cents on these Tech 9 Brothers or whatever field tested skin you want to go with is actually over market price. And I'm saying this because there's definitely going to be a lot of people out there that are able to get this cheaper. But I figured 50 cents was a nice even number. Plus, it gives you a very good range of opportunity to make sure you can still buy a couple off market, even though that's something I never suggest you can do. This trade up gives you the option to do so. And I'm not specifically advocating for it but it's just nice to have that option once in a while and then the minimal wear skin 86 cents that's roughly market price you might have to throw a buy order on there but super easy float of just below 0.11 on that one it's going to get you right where you need to go and then coming down to our outcomes like i mentioned you're looking for the glock vogue otherwise the tooth fairy and the entombed are going to be roughly even maybe 10 to 20 cent profit depending on when you sell it but you're really looking for the vogue all right hopping on into it here now this one is the cheapest and probably the least easily accessible float i figured we'd start off with the hardest one get it out of the way and the one at the end of the video i really like because you got a two-thirds chance of making some pretty nice profit and it's easy to do but starting it off here with the intoned wasn't really expecting too much pretty decent whatever we get okay so now heading into this second trade-up i gotta say something because it always wears on me every time i make these types of videos you can use whatever skin from the collection we're doing you don't have to do the specific skin i put in there because you're gonna be really you hurting yourself and this is what i mean we're heading on over to the prisma 2 case and this float is super easy 0.23 or below we're heading into the stat track form and a buy order of 87 cents on average is going to do you well that's another thing but the main point i want to get at here is in the trade up on the screen on trade up spy i just have 10 of the p2000 acid etched now this is just for convenience because i don't specifically put in the exact skins i'm going to use but rather just the average float and this is very important because when we head on over to the market you have the option of three different skins for this trade up that all fit the price point you've got the scar 20 enforcer you've got the sawed off apocalypto and then you've got the p2000 like we've mentioned this is very important because you're going to see me that i I specifically put a buy order in on all three of these. Not only is it going to be making it significantly easier for me to get the skins to do the trade up, but I'm also potentially going to be getting it for a cheaper price point. You can see here with the Scar 20 Enforcer that I'm able to pick it up for 84 cents on average because there's just a couple buy orders ahead of me. But if we head on over to the P2000, you can see how many buy orders are ahead of me if I wanted to place that at 84 cents. Now, this is something I talk about a decent amount. It's just not something I bring up in every single video and it's very important in videos like this when your average float needs to be 0.23 which is very achievable on all of these skins this is a trade out i personally banged out for quite a while and made a decent amount of profit on problem is you need to do it a decent amount to hopefully make profit because when we come down to our outcomes we're going to be making around nine dollars on the ak but the other two we're going to be losing out significantly the discotheque is only going to be around three dollars but if you hit the mag 7 justice it's almost a five dollar loss which is quite terrible for a nine dollar contract but let's hop on into it all right here we go the one nice thing about these ones is at least the float didn't take me a terrible long time to get it, but we really still need to make sure that we get that AK Phantom Disruptor. Put us in a good position. Oh, we got the Disco Tech. It's not what I wanted, but it's better than the Justice. It's a loss, but it's not a terrible loss. All right, here we are for the easiest float trade up of the video. This one is going to be the bread and butter if you can get these skins, and that's going to be 10 of the field tested Stat Track skins from the CS20 collection. 0.26 average field tested float. 
very achievable with a buy order. Personally, I threw up a buy order for 95 cents. You can go a little bit higher. The nice thing about this one is you can go up to 11 cents higher, so around a dollar and six cents, and still be making profit on average. Obviously, it's very desirable to go lower than that. And you can see here that I obviously went lower with a 95 cent buy order. But when we come down to our outcomes, we're really looking for one main thing, and that's not the Hydra. Everything we're looking to hit here is in that P90 nostalgia or the AUG death by puppy. The MP9 Hydra is the only thing coming in in field tested, and therefore it's going to be a pretty significant loss. And like I mentioned, this one's got a very high profitability, even including the fee, $1.14. Even if you have to go all the way up to a dollar to get that buy order in ahead of other people, you're still going to be making a significant amount of profit on average, so I would not sweat it. Now, like I mentioned before, I've got some plastics here. Don't always rely on the one skin. Always throw in as many buy orders as you can because you never know when you'll get a couple extra skins like this. I've got a couple plastics. Makes it much easier. But basically, if we're able to hit this, it's going to be getting rid of our loss from the Disco Tech. Let's see it. Death by Puppy, that's exactly what we wanted to see. That's in minimal wear. It's got the lowest float in minimal wear, which is not too relevant, but that's a great hit, and that puts us roughly even. And here we are for the most intense trade-up of the day. We're heading on over to the Breakout Collection. Nine field-tested stat track skins. These ones 0.225 or below on the float. Quite achievable, especially for these field-tested skins. The one minimal wear skin needs to be 0.11 or below. Now for the actual field tested skins, I went with a buy order of $1.21, and then the minimal wear skin, $2.03 is roughly what you're going to be wanting to pay, but you can always pay a little bit more if you need to. Coming down to our outcomes, and we're really looking to avoid one thing once again. That's that 5-7 foul play. That's almost a $9 loss. You're going to be losing over 60% of your total value if you're hitting that, so we're really looking to either hit the Conspiracy or the Water Elemental. If we're hitting either of those too we're gonna be walking away with significant profit for the day let's hop on into it all right so now i'm kind of nervous i mean we have uh not had the greatest day so far we're roughly even and it all comes down to this trade up right here and especially if we can hit that conspiracy that would be a great way to end it i don't know if you guys watch these videos often and especially in a row but we have not had the greatest luck with trade ups but Hey, I will take that. That is awesome to see. We're finally finishing with some profit, and all it took was the super easy floats to do so. That's absolutely amazing. We should be just sneaking in on that minimal wear. But overall, finishing with a very nice day. A decent amount of profit, as you can see, which is very nice, especially considering how the past couple videos have went. And I know it was a little odd throwing that PSA in there, but if you guys want to see like an entire video on that, let me know down in the comments. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.